Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of the most vibrant, creative, and downright fascinating communities on the internet. I'm talking about you guys, the Toho fans. Whether you're a longtime fan of the series or just stumbled upon it, there's something in this world for everyone, so grab your tea, get comfy, and let's explore together. Toho Project, created by the one-man army known as Zoon, started as a series of bullet hell games, but it's grown into so much more. The games are known for their challenging gameplay, incredible music, and rich cast of characters. But what's truly remarkable is how the fanbase has taken this relatively niche series and turned it into a cultural phenomenon. Let's start with fan art. The sheer amount of creativity in the Toho community is mind-blowing. Artists from all over the world bring their unique styles to the characters we love. From beautifully designed illustrations to charming chibi rendition. And it doesn't stop there. Fan comics, known as doujinshi, are a huge part of the Toho experience. These stories range from light-hearted slice-of-life moments in Gensokyo to epic, action-packed adventures. Now, on the topic of doujinshi, let us talk about my favorite fan manga, Runosuke manga, that's all it's called, by Hidafu Kitia. It basically follows the life of Runosuke as he tries not to die because people are always tormenting him. So, if you're a fan of Runosuke and you're a fan of just the insanity in Gensokyo, as a, as a whole, I would recommend checking out that manga. Next up, we have music. Zoon's compositions are legendary, but the fan community has taken these tracks to new heights. You'll find remixes in every genre imaginable, whether you're into electronic beats, heavy metal riffs, or even orchestral symphonies. Symphonies. Symphonies! God damn it! There's a Toho remix out there for you. And let's not forget about vocal arrangements and covers often featuring amazing vocalists bringing new life to these timeless tunes. But let us talk about one artist that really holds my heart. Richard Eby, the guitarist on YouTube. He has a whole album, I have the signed version. If you like metal remixes, definitely check him out. There's more, as the wise Billy May was, would say. Toho fan games are another testament to the passion of this community. From full-on RPGs to fighting games and even puzzle games, these fan creations expand on the lore and give us new ways to interact with our new favorite characters. Some of these games are so well made, they could easily stand on their own as original titles. But with that generalization out of the way, let us talk about the more specific Toho fan games that are basically onto their own. Toho Luna Nights. Now, Toho Luna Nights is a Metrovania, which has gotten so popular that many non-Toho fans play it. It's basically a game where you play Sakoya Izayoi, and you're in a imaginative Gensokyo. I don't want to spoil too much in case you want to play it yourself, but it has a unique mechanic where you rely on time slowing and time stopping to defeat your foes. There is a graze mechanic where if you dodge, you gain health back and points back. It is basically, if you're a fan of Metroidvanias, you don't even need to know how Toho to play this game. And on that note, if you're a fan of Pokemon, may I introduce you to Toho Puppet Dance Performance? It is a Toho fan game, which basically takes the Pokemon formula and rehauls it from the ground. And it's a fun romp, and while it may not be as difficult as mainline Toho games, or even mainline Pokemon games, it's definitely fun to explore all the different Pokemon, or I guess puppets as they call them, and build your own team and have your own, own own adventure. But we can't talk about Toho fan content without mentioning cosplay. The dedication and craftsmanship that goes into creating these costumes are just incredible. Toho characters have always had intricate designs, and seeing them brought to life by fans is always a treat. Whether it's at conventions, fan gatherings, or just photo shoots, Toho cosplay is a vital part of the community. At the end of the day, what makes Toho so special isn't just the games. It's the community. There's passion and love. It's always alive and thriving, even if there hasn't been a game for years. It just continuously goes on and on. It's basically a self-replicating community. New fans come in, old fans leave, but it's always going on because the new fans find content from the old fans and that inspires them to make new content. Basically, what I'm saying is, it just never ends. And Toho will be around for the foreseeable future. So, let me know down in the comments, what are your favorite Toho fan creations? I'm curious to know, and remember, if you like this, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, because that's how we get in the algorithm. Until next time, bye-bye.